My YouTube thumbnails just weren't giving. I'd find a cute Canva template, swap a few pics, and hope for the best. Then chat GPT 4.0. Dropped with an image generator. And I thought, what if I trained it on my brand aesthetic to create thumbnails that actually match my vibe? That's what I'm showing you today. By the end of this video, you'll know how to use chat GPT to make YouTube thumbnails. Your style, your flavor. Let's get into it. All right, let's open up the Lux Melanin GPT. I'm using the cinematic command for this because it gives that story vibe I want for my thumbnails. Once I click it, the GPT asks me a few quick questions to get started. Before I dive in, let me hop over to my YouTube channel real quick. I'm grabbing the transcript from one of my older videos. That's what I'll use to guide the GPT. Now you can give it your full script or just a rough outline of your video. I personally like pulling the transcript directly from YouTube. It's fast and the structure's already there. I popped that transcript into the GPT and asked it to create a thumbnail based on the content. This is what it came up with and it looks great. I like to use what I call my YouTube AI models to help advertise my videos with these thumbnails, so I'm always looking for images that match my brand and catch the eye. I just said, create another one, and boom. This image showed up. What I love is how fast it works. I didn't tweak the prompt or change anything. Just a quick ask, and GPT delivered a whole new thumbnail concept that's still on brand and visually striking. Okay, I wanted to switch up the vibe, so I asked the GPT for a new design concept. It came back with this, split frame pop. I'm talking bold text on one side, my YouTube AI model in action on the other, and a whole visual mood that's confident and joyful. Let's see how it turns out. Ooh, I love the bright colors and layout on this one. It really pops. The text is cut off a bit on the side, but that's no problem. We'll fix that up in Canva real quick. If you prefer to use an actual photo of yourself instead of a YouTube AI model like me, you can totally do that too. Just upload your photo, like I did here with my AI avatar, and ask the GPT to replace the existing character with your image. And boom, just like that, your thumbnail comes out personalized and still on brand. All right, let's hop over to Canva real quick so we can clean these thumbnails up and make them pop even more. We're in Canva now, and I've opened up a blank white canvas sized perfectly for YouTube thumbnails. I start by placing the image with the cutoff text onto the canvas and adjusting it to fit. Then I click Edit, select Grab Text, and once Canva separates it from the image, I resize and reposition the text. A quick font size tweak, color match, and now everything looks clean. But you'll notice the image doesn't quite fill the YouTube thumbnail space yet. So I go back to Edit, choose Magic Expand, select Whole Page, and hit Expand. I let Canva work its magic, and boom, it gives me four layout options. Sometimes I'll regenerate to get better results, but in this case, option three looked perfect, so I went with that. Now that it's expanded and looking clean, I want to adjust the positioning just a bit. You'll notice there's a little too much purple space on the right side of the image. So I click on Edit again, then Magic Grab, click the woman holding the iPad, then hit Grab. After a few seconds, that section separates perfectly from the background. I move her over slightly to balance the layout. And just like that, we've got a polished thumbnail ready to go. Now let's move on to the next image. The text on this one doesn't need any adjusting, so we'll just use Magic Expand to fit it to YouTube's thumbnail size. Same process, click Edit, then Magic Expand, select Whole Page, and wait for it to generate options. None of the first results really worked, so I hit Regenerate. Still not great. So I switched strategies. I positioned the image to the left side and ran Magic Expand again. That did the trick. This time I was able to select an option that matched. There was still a slight gray bar showing on the edge, so I clicked Edit, then selected Magic Eraser. I used the brush to go over that area, hit Erase, and just like that, the defect was gone. Now the thumbnail looks clean, polished, and ready to go. All right, let's edit our last image. No text adjustments needed on this one either, so we're just using Magic Expand. I go through the same steps, Click Edit, choose Magic Expand, wait for it to generate options, pick the one I like, and that's it. Quick and easy.
All right, here's the final lineup. Three different thumbnail styles, all on brand and AI assisted. Each one has its own vibe, but I'm curious. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. And there you have it. You can even try the workflow using the free version of ChatGPT just to see how it hits. But if you want luxury baked in from the jump, Lux Melanin 2.0 is ready for you. It already knows the assignment. Just drop your idea and go. Details are in the description. See you in the next one.